Images from space. They show our planet from new perspectives and sometimes in the most unusual colors. They're not only nice to look at, but they also supply map and weather services with up-to-date data, and they're a crucial tool for the scientific exploration of planet Earth. With the help of images from space, information is collected and analyzed. Their contribution is indispensable to the understanding of the Earth system and the changes it experiences. But how does this happen? And what do those silent observers, the satellites, look like? What data do they supply us with, and how do they help us understand the highly dynamic processes on our planet and make us realize the role humanity plays? Space agencies such as ESA or NASA, as well as private companies, have brought a substantial number of satellites into orbit. The diversity in satellites is necessary since different applications of Earth observation require specific sensors. To understand this better, let's take a closer look at what satellites can do and what they're used for. We collect four types of information using satellites. Spatial, spectral, temporal, and elevation. First, spatial information allows us to see the Earth's surface at different spatial resolutions. Second, and of highest importance, is the information that satellites can gather over the entirety of the electromagnetic spectrum. From these radiometric properties, we can assemble conclusions about things like an object's temperature or their photosynthetic activity. Third, by observing the Earth over extended periods of time, we can gather temporal information. And finally, the sensors on board of satellites can measure the height of both land and sea surfaces giving us important elevation data. Depending on their field of application, satellite sensors are equipped in a way that allows them to collect different information in varying detail. Let us look at three distinct examples currently found in orbit. METEOSAT, a satellite that observes the atmosphere, follows the Earth on a fixed geostationary position 30,000 kilometers out in space. From this distance, it's hardly possible to collect high-resolution spatial information. However, it maintains a large section of the Earth in its field of view throughout the day. With this data, which covers beyond the visible ranges of light, pressure areas and storms can be tracked, and surface temperatures and aerosol concentrations can be measured. This is Sentinel-2. It is used primarily to explore changes in the land surface, but takes a longer time to acquire images of the same region because of its slower polar orbit of about 800 kilometers. Five days pass before it scans the same area again. Its strengths lie in the high spatial resolution of the images, which provide detailed information of the Earth's reflection in areas of the visible and infrared spectrum. And what about elevation information? Neither Meteosat nor Sentinel-2 have corresponding sensors on board. This is where we use a class of satellites that does not depend on sunlight to be reflected from the Earth. Radar satellites, like Sentinel-1, generate their own waves and send them to the Earth's surface and receive them back. Thus, they're independent of daylight and can look through clouds because they use long wave rays. Differences in transit time between the transmitted and received radar waves can then be used for precise elevation measurements. Other satellites have their own special applications which are determined by weighing of these four criteria, spatial, spectral, temporal, and elevation. For the most accurate picture of the events on our planet, service providers and researchers use the full range of data generated by Earth observation satellites. This enables them to observe changes in the land surface, observe the marine environment, prevent disasters and optimize crisis management, observe the atmosphere, monitor climate change, and even contribute to the safety of traffic.
Remote sensing, the non-contact exploration of our planet using satellite data, is a crucial tool in solving global problems of our societies. The Earth is a constantly changing planet, and if we don't monitor and understand these changes, our future on this planet is uncertain. With the increasing technical capabilities of satellite sensors and improvements in data analysis, the importance of Earth observation for our society is bound to increase. These images show how beautiful and fascinating our blue planet is, but it's also highly vulnerable. And when we realize this, let's use these images to preserve it for generations to come.